finish him. Yo, what's up guys? It's Pine here. I got that engineer tutorial for you. Uh, it's basically going to go over the basics of the engineer class. Uh, some of the, the unlocks, like the, the rocket launchers, like the uh, javelin and how to use that. And it's going to basically show you some some of the first couple of guns. Uh, some great gameplay here. I'm um, starting off with the M4 carbine. And it's, the actu it's actually the M4 not the M4A1, and I thought for some reason that it was going to be like totally different gun, but <clears throat> and it, like hopefully it would be more powerful, but it's really not. It's just they just took it and put put a three round burst in it instead of fully auto. So I was I was pretty mad about that. Um, one thing about the engineer class when you're using the guns, because they're all like submachine guns, so when you're using them, it's more of a running gun class. So you want to like be up in their spawn more, and kill and be killing them that way. Like right now, I'm in their spawn with an A91, which t this gun tears shit apart, and it's it's just it's just fucking amazing. Like it's a it's a five shot kill. It's and like a three shot kill to the head. So it's crazy, even at far range with silencer. Um, but so so yeah, that's basically uh a gun to look forward to. Uh. If you if you're an engineer person, um, another thing is when you're in their spawn, you want to be completely aware of like your surroundings and like basically what's behind you, like where people are, where you're getting shot at from. You get shot at from from somewhere. I suggest going behind cover because I mean I do it all the time and it works great because <clears throat> you can you like have a second to get your shit together. And then it throws the other person off because sometimes like they'll reload. So like even if you go behind cover for like a second and then pop back up and go after the person, it will work because you might get a kill. Uh, moving on to the anti-tank. Uh, <clears throat> I shot this tank once and I ran up to it to reload so it wouldn't be able to shoot me with its big gun. Uh, that's a great tactic to use because if, you, if you're right next to a tank, it can't shoot you. Uh, so then... I put down a mine in case it went over the mine. I would get a kill like that, but instead, instead it backed up. So I went behind the cover and then shot it twice and got the kill. Uh, Landmines, the M15 AT mines, actually, uh, they they're they're pretty good. I'll, I'll give them that. I mean, I've gotten many kills with them and they work out perfectly fine. Like right here, I just disabled a vehicle with my mine and then went over. And shot it with an RPG. Uh, when you're using RPGs, make sure that you lead out shots because they do have bullet lag and they do have bullet drop as well. Uh, right here, this is anti-air. Um, I'm using the Ig the Iglaw, and I just shot down a helicopter here. Vehicle disabled, and there's my kill right there. Um, sometimes with anti-air, it's kind of hard because that most people now, now that the game's been out for a while, it, most people have uh, flares. Um, right here is the javelin. Uh, in order to use the javelin, you need somebody else with a soul flam, which is a lock-on lock-on gadget, and it's on the uh, recon class. Uh, so I got my buddy B Shoals here with the soul flam, and as you can see, the javelin javelin is a little laggy because I get my kill like 10 minutes after I shoot it the e alright right here is the EOD bot the classic EOD bot I'm up this is on Caspian border I'm up arming a bomb right here uh, basically you just ride up to it go up to the bomb and hit X um also you can get kills with this thing because it has the engineer tool which you can get a kill with you can burn people and as you see right here I burnt him and I got the kill there <clears throat> 